Hey everyone, ready for another deep dive? Today we're taking a close look at some pretty cool AI research from DeepSeek AI. They've been working on these new models called DeepSeek R10 and DeepSeek R1. And they're really pushing the limits with these, especially when it comes to reinforcement learning and large language models. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, definitely. Their paper just came out like a few days ago on January 22nd, 2025. Hot off the press. Totally. And they're talking about how they're using this reinforcement learning to train these models to handle some seriously complex stuff like math problems, coding, even scientific reasoning. Oh, and there's more. Is there? They're finding these models are showing signs of almost, you could say, human-like aha moments. It's wild. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Aha, moments in AI. Let's break that down. First off, what exactly is DeepSeek R10? Well, think of it this way. It's the first model out there that's trained completely through reinforcement learning. No hand-holding, no starting examples, nothing like that. So, like, learning to swim by being chucked into the deep end. Uh huh. Yeah, kind of. Basically, they set up this whole reward system where the model gets points for solving problems correctly. But there's a catch. Oh, there's always a catch. Right. It also has to present its thinking process, how it got to that answer, in a very specific way. So no credit for just guessing the right answer. Got to show your work. Precisely. And the results are impressive, especially on this math benchmark, the AM 2024. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that one. Pretty tough. Pretty Notoriously tough. difficult. DeepSeek R10 started off solving like, what, 15% of the problems? After training, boom, 71%. Wow, that's a massive jump. Sounds like it's figuring out how to reason better all on its own. But going back to those aha moments, what are we actually seeing? Right. So the researchers noticed something really interesting. The model naturally started taking more processing time, like really thinking hard, when it hit a tougher problem. Makes sense. I do the same thing. Exactly. And sometimes they even saw it like reevaluating its approach, kind of like when we have that wait a minute moment. So it's like the model realized it was going down the wrong path and course corrected. That's fascinating. Does that mean it's becoming self-aware? Well, maybe not self-aware in the way we think about it, but it does show how complex behaviors can emerge from just this reward-based learning. There's this one quote from the paper that blew my mind. The model actually outputted, wait, 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 that's an aha moment I can flag here. Let's reevaluate this step by step. No way, it said that. Straight up. Even the researchers called it an aha moment, not just for the model, but for their own understanding of how powerful this whole approach can be. Okay, DeepSeek R10, you've officially impressed me. But the paper does mention some downsides, right? It wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. You're right. They ran into some readability issues with DeepSeek R10. Sometimes its responses were all jumbled, mixing languages, or just lacking a clear structure. Ah, so it was more focused on getting the answer right than presenting it neatly. Exactly. And that's where DeepSeek R1 comes in. They realized that a little bit of guidance could go a long way. Like training wheels for AI. Kind of. They introduced this cold start phase where they used a small amount of data that emphasized clear, readable responses. Think well-structured summaries, consistent language, that kind of thing. So they gave it a bit of a head start on presentation skills. Pretty much. But they didn't stop there. After the cold start, it was back to reinforcement learning, just like with DeepSeek R10. But this time, they used a wider variety of prompts and made sure the rewards focused on things like helpfulness and harmlessness. So it's not just about being super smart. It's about being a good AI citizen too, right? Absolutely. And the results. Well, DeepSeek R1 is now performing right up there with OpenAI's more advanced model, O1-1217, on a whole range of tasks. Math, coding, you name it. So this multi-stage training with a little bit of guidance and a lot of reinforcement learning really paid off. DeepSeek R1 sounds incredibly impressive, but I'm curious, how do they actually measure its performance? What kind of benchmarks are we talking about here? Well, for starters, on that same AIM 2024 math challenge, DeepSeek R1 scored a whopping 79.8%. That's actually even better than OpenAI's 01-1217. And on another test, Math 500, it hit an incredible 97.3%, again, neck and neck, with 01-1217. And get this, it's showing expert level coding skills too. Its code forces rating puts it ahead of like 96.3% of human participants. Whoa, hold on. It's beating out most human coders. That's insane. Right. It's seriously impressive. 
But DeepSeek AI didn't stop there. They wanted to make this advanced reasoning power more accessible, so they went and distilled the capabilities of DeepSeek R1 into smaller, more efficient models. Distilled. Okay, now that sounds cool. What does that even mean in the world of AI? Imagine you have this master chef who wants to share their skills with a promising student. That's kind of what they did here. They took the training data generated by DeepSeek R1 and used it to fine-tune these smaller models based on existing architectures like Quinn and Llama. So, like, creating a reasoning for dummies guide. Uh -huh. Kind of. It's like they created a cheat sheet to give these smaller models a boost. And here's the kicker. These smaller models, even after being distilled, ended up outperforming some larger models that weren't specifically trained for reasoning, like GPT-40. No way. So bigger isn't always better. That's a game changer for making advanced AI more accessible. It really is. It seems like we're moving into this new era of AI where it's not just about building bigger models, but finding smarter ways to enhance their core capabilities, like reasoning. This is all super fascinating. But before we get too lost in the success story, I think it's important to remember that research isn't always a straight shot to the finish line, right? Couldn't agree more. There are bumps along the road, detours, sometimes even dead ends. <laughs> so what were some of the challenges the DeepSeek AI team ran into during this whole process? Well, they mentioned running into trouble with a couple of approaches, process reward models, or PRMs, and Monte Carlo Tree Search, also known as MCTS. They tried using those while scaling up their training, but it just didn't work out as well as they'd hoped. Okay, can we get a quick breakdown of what those are and why they proved to be such a challenge? Sure. So process reward models, those are designed to give feedback on each step of the reasoning process, like a teacher giving you hints along the way. And Monte Carlo Tree Search, that's a method for exploring tons of potential solutions systematically. Hmm. So those might be better suited for problems with like really clear steps and fewer possible solutions. Exactly. What's really cool, though, is that Deep CKI didn't shy away from these challenges. They laid it all out in their paper. Which is super important, right? Because science isn't just about celebrating successes. Right. It's also about acknowledging the failures, learning from them, and sharing those lessons with the wider community. Sharing those failures helps everyone avoid the same pitfalls and ultimately pushes the field forward faster. That's a great point. Mm -hmm. Even with those bumps in the road, DeepSeek AI has clearly achieved something remarkable with DeepSeek R10 and DeepSeek R1. Totally agree. It's a testament to their dedication and ingenuity. And it opens up so many exciting avenues for future research. Like, just imagine if reinforcement learning can unlock this level of reasoning, what other human capabilities could we enhance in machines? Yeah. Could we teach AI to be more creative, more intuitive, maybe even develop something like emotional intelligence? It's mind-blowing to think about. But as we keep pushing these boundaries, we can't forget about the ethical side of things either. Absolutely. We've got to make sure AI is developed and used responsibly in a way that benefits everyone. It's a conversation we all need to be a part of. Researchers, developers, policymakers, even the public. We're all stakeholders in shaping the future of AI. Exactly. And this research from DeepSeek AI is a huge step in that direction. It's a reminder that AI isn't just about building bigger models. It's about understanding the very nature of intelligence itself. So for everyone listening, why should you care about all this AI reasoning stuff? Why does this matter to you? Well, on a practical level, this is a sneak peek into the future happening right now. AI is changing rapidly, and these advancements could revolutionize so many aspects of our lives. Think about it. AI helping scientists make groundbreaking discoveries, assisting doctors with diagnoses and treatments, even personalizing education. It sounds like science fiction coming to life. I know, right? But there's another layer to this, something even deeper. It's about what it means to be human. If machines can learn to reason like us, what does that say about our own intelligence? What makes us unique? Where do we draw the line between human and artificial intelligence? Whoa, those are some big questions. We might not have all the answers yet, but that's what makes this whole field so exciting. It's a journey of discovery, not just about the potential of technology, but about ourselves too. I couldn't have put it better myself. It's a journey we're all on together. Well said. So there you have it, another deep dive into the world of AI. Thanks for joining us. And stay tuned, because the conversation about AI is far from over. We'll be back soon with even more mind-blowing breakthroughs and thought-provoking discussions. Makes you wonder what's next, right? What other amazing discoveries are just waiting to be made? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It feels like we're on the edge of something huge in AI. Right. Like, machines are going to go from just following instructions to, like, actually thinking for themselves. That's a perfect way to put it. 
DeepSeek AI, with this DeepSeek R1, they're not just making models bigger, they're exploring entirely new ways to train them, ways that boost their core abilities, you know, like reasoning, through things like reinforcement learning. And that's a really fascinating part, right? They're using this reinforcement learning, which basically lets the model learn through trial and error, kind of like us humans when you think about it. Exactly. And this approach is leading to some, well, unexpected and even counterintuitive results. Like how they managed to, what was the word? Distill. Yeah, distill those reasoning skills from DeepSeek R1 into these smaller models. And then those smaller versions actually outperform some of the larger models that weren't trained for reasoning. That's huge for making AI more accessible and efficient, wouldn't you say? Absolutely huge. It really challenges that idea that bigger is always better when it comes to AI. It opens up a whole new path for developing and you know actually using advanced AI in the real world. It makes you think, what other human capabilities could we unlock in machines using this kind of approach? I mean, we can boost reasoning. Could we also boost creativity, intuition, maybe even emotional intelligence? Those are some really big questions. And honestly, we're just starting to explore the possibilities. The potential of AI is vast. But as we dig deeper, I think it's incredibly important that we proceed with caution and think carefully about the ethical implications of these advancements. Absolutely. It's a responsibility that falls on all of us. Researchers, developers, policymakers, and the public. We all have a role to play in making sure AI is developed and used for good, for the benefit of all humanity. Couldn't agree more. The future of AI, well, it's full of possibilities, both amazing and challenging. And research like what DeepSeek AI is doing, it's helping to light the way forward. So bringing it back to our listeners, why should you care about all of this AI reasoning stuff? It's a glimpse into the future unfolding right now. AI is rapidly evolving, and these advancements will impact our lives in countless ways. And it's not just about the practical applications, right? It also makes us think about what it means to be human. Exactly. If machines can learn to reason, what does that say about us? About our own cognitive abilities? Where is the line between human intelligence and artificial intelligence? Big questions, and honestly, we may not have all the answers yet. That's what makes it so fascinating. It's a journey of discovery, and not just about the potential of technology, but about ourselves as well. Beautifully said. We're all on this journey together. Now, before we move on, I want to touch on something that often gets overshadowed when we talk about these groundbreaking research achievements. What's that? It's the importance of acknowledging and learning from the failures, the setbacks that happen along the way. The DeepSeek AI team, they didn't just focus on their successes. They openly discussed the challenges they faced, the things that didn't work out. It's an important point. Scientific progress isn't always this straight line from A to B. It's messy, iterative, and full of surprises. Exactly. And by sharing both our successes and failures, we create a more open and collaborative research environment. That leads to more meaningful progress in the long run. It's a great reminder that even when we make incredible breakthroughs, there's always more to learn, more to explore. And that the journey itself is just as important as reaching the final destination. This has been quite a journey, exploring the world of AI reasoning like this and seeing the incredible progress DeepSeek AI has made with DeepSeek R1. It's pretty mind blowing. Really shows you how AI research is constantly pushing the limits of what we thought possible, you know? And what's so exciting is this research goes beyond just like making models bigger, right? Yeah, it's not just about size anymore. It's about finding these innovative ways to actually make them smarter, enhance those core abilities, like reasoning. Through things like reinforcement learning. Exactly. And look at the results. DeepSeek R1 is performing amazingly well on some really challenging tasks. And the fact that they managed to like distill those capabilities into smaller models, yeah, that makes a huge difference for accessibility and efficiency, making AI more practical, you know? Definitely game changer. It opens up so many possibilities for using AI in ways that can truly benefit society. Everything from scientific discovery to personalized education. The potential is enormous. Yeah. But, you know, as with any powerful technology, we have to be cautious and consider the ethical implications as well, right? Absolutely. We can't just charge ahead blindly. We need to make sure AI is developed and used responsibly in a way that aligns with our values, you know, and contributes to the well-being of everyone. A responsibility we all share. So as we wrap up this deep dive, I want to leave you with one final thought. No, I like where this is going. If we can unlock such incredible reasoning abilities in AI using reinforcement learning, what other human capabilities could we potentially enhance or even, you know, replicate 
using this approach? That is the question. And what new ethical dilemmas will we face as we continue pushing those boundaries? It's fascinating and a little bit daunting at the same time. These are the questions that will shape the future of AI and its impact on, well, everything. And it's a future we can all play a part in shaping. It's not just for the scientists and engineers, you know. We all have a voice in this. Well said. Thank you so much for joining us on this exploration of AI reasoning. It's been a pleasure diving deep with you and our listeners. And hey, this is just the beginning of the conversation. We'll be back soon with more groundbreaking discoveries and thought-provoking discussions about the world of AI. Until then, keep those brains buzzing.